Been dropping shit, ain't it? What's good with you too? <coughs> back in that ass for the two one and two two. What's good with y'all, man? That Corona came back with a vengeance, ain't it? That shit like coming back up, climbing back up on the top, on the on, on the damn charts and shit. Like it'll drop another album. But everybody be careful and be safe out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to get that shit. You know what I'm saying? That Corona. Hey, some people still don't believe in the shit. People passing away, people getting sick, and some people still don't believe in it. Y'all, y'all the ones need. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna even wish that on nobody. You know what I mean? But the people don't believe in it. You know what I mean? Hey, just respect. Just respect people's wishes. You know what I'm saying? They don't want y'all stand. They want y'all to stay away from them. Stay away from that. Tell you just like this. You don't need to be coughing around people no shit like that. You know what I mean? You don't need to be doing that anyway. You know? Really, Corona, I told y'all, is just to teach y'all how to wash your ass and be sanitary. You know? And stay away from people. Give people six feet. You ain't got to be all up in people facing peripheral and shit like that. Damn. Unless you're with your girl or some of y'all, you know, doing the ugly or some shit like that. Or y'all booed up or some shit like that. You don't need to be all in people's faces and stuff like that. It's just unsan unsanitary, uncivilized. You know what I mean? Just swapping spit, spitting each other's faces and stuff like that. You know, like some couples and stuff. Mm -hmm. ah, all that shit like that, you know. Just be like that, though. Sometimes when you're in love, you know, you can see couples out there just kissing in public. Ah, all that shit, you know. Just be like that. You know, some people just don't care. Some people do. Some people some people like to keep that shit under wraps. And then, you know, some people, they like to, you know, go all out in public. You know what I'm saying? I love her. I love him. You know what I'm saying? Some people be like that. Ain't nothing wrong with this shit, though. You know? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with showing how much love you got for a person. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, everybody deserves it. I'm a firm believer in everybody needs love. You know what I mean? That's just like, you know, even shit. You know, like some people like, you know, <laughs> hey, me and my partner, we were chopping it up at work and shit. You know, we got to talk about porn stars and actors and shit like that on TV. And that was a hell of a question. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, they talking about, you know, they uh, date Halle Berry or movie stars for, for status or they look good or how much money they got. But really, once you get it, it really don't mean that, uh, you know, once, you know, some people can have a certain purpose in life, you too, and they'll have a certain purpose that money ain't everything to them. And if money ain't everything to you, them the type of people that will get some money, you know, and that the more likely will succeed because it ain't about them. You know, money, you know, money's not everything. You know, some people don't understand the art of helping people. Looking out for other people and helping other people, that's success right there. You know what I mean? It ain't about how much money I got and shit like that. You know, leave a legacy behind and some shit like that. Yeah, back to the juicy shit, what I'm talking about, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're talking about the cups and shit like that. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's not about that, but, you know, we were talking about, you know what I'm saying, like the actors and shit like that, porn and shit like that. Like, if you were married to one and you seen them in a sex scene, how would you feel? You know, like, had the bear out Monster Ball. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Putting to her ass, you know what I mean? I thought that was real, me personally. I thought that was real. But, you know, you know, we were looking at porn stars and stuff like that. Well, we wasn't looking at it. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm, well, everybody looked at this shit before. <sighs> Give me a break. You know what I'm saying? It's been a minute. You know, but like, hey, everybody looked at this shit. But could you be married to a porn star? One of y'all. If y'all, y'all, for the viewers watching, hey, could y'all be married to a porn star and she come on or he come on and say, Ooh, it, was a, it was a good day today. How would you feel? How would you take that? I'm just saying, you know, because you know they're good at what they do. You know what I'm saying? Again, that thigh head on camera. Hey, you know the head five when a nigga kick off one pants leg and get comfortable. But, like I was saying, though, you know, like some actors and stuff, you know, like, you know, paid actors and stuff, like when they do sex scenes and stuff, I know some of the shit ain't real. You know, some of it ain't real or, or whatnot. But, you know what I'm saying? How would you look if, you know, see your man or your woman on camera just getting, you know, drilled? Some people think, like, it's about the money, you know, we rich and all that. Hell no. It's going to be a quiet ride home. That's why I understand. Like, some people do swinging and stuff like that, you know, like swingers. You know what I'm saying? People take their husband and their wife, they go like to like this one little show together and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They be switching and all that, you know. Hey, you gotta be careful with doing shit like that, y'all. YouTube, there's a lot of stuff around like diseases and all that stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing none of that stuff anyway. You really should. You know, I believe in, you know, like I said, I believe in marriage and I believe in, you know, just having, you know, some people like being players, some people like being pipe players, some people like being, you know, single, some people like, you know, the married life. Everybody got their own path. Everybody got their own, you know, struggle. Everybody got that, got what they want to do. Everybody know what the hell they want to do in life. You know, so I can't judge nobody. If you want to be a porn star, hey, go out there, pull your wee wee or your cootie cat out and do what you got to do. You know, that's you. That's your life. I ain't here to judge. But everybody got their own purpose in life. Whether you like it or not, you have a purpose too. You may not know what it is, but you got one. No, nobody know what that purpose is. But that's sometimes it'll fall on your lap. Sometimes you got to 
find it. Sometimes it's a, a talent that you have or some shit like that. Or sometimes it's just, you know, ain't no telling what your purpose is. You might be good at making people laugh. You might be good at speaking, shit like that. But you know, somebody will always head on the next. But y'all still got to answer my question. This bottle about to fall. But y'all still got to answer my question, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all have a spouse in the entertainment business. You know what I'm saying? Getting knocked off or some shit like that. Or could you handle that? Or could you deal? I'm so tired of this light. I think it's like a, oh, uh, I got to fix this light. You know what I mean? I'm not no electrician or nothing. But I think I'm going to give it a go. See, what it keep doing is, it's a new light bulb and everything in the motherfucker. new light bulb and shit. But, you know, it keep going in now. So I think it's like a short circuit or wires or some shit like that. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and fix it. You know what I'm saying? I can do the shit. You know? I can. I'm a little maintenance man. But, you know, this is Cooler with McFly. Episode number 13. Y'all gonna cool it with me today. I will fix that light, but I don't, want, I don't want to record me fixing this light, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want y'all to see my secrets and shit like that. And plus, I don't want to electrocute the shit out of myself. So, you know, I ain't trying to fuck with it right now. But, you know, the light keep going in and out and all that, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, you know, like I was saying, this is episode number 13, you know what I'm saying? I just come back in talking shit to y'all, having fun. But, uh, everything is all good and it's all well. You know, everything is cool. Everything is cool above the dirt, you know what I mean? But you know what? You too. A lot of people got life twisted. You know what I'm saying? I've been thinking about, you know, leaving some, you know, leaving some behind, leaving a legacy and stuff like that. A lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people just want to work regular jobs and stuff like that. There ain't nothing wrong with working regular jobs. I ain't knocking no shit like that. Working regular jobs, you know, or doing what you got to do to pay the bills. Ain't nothing wrong with doing that shit neither. But, you know, to like leave a legacy, you can be helping people, you can be a, a speaker, you can be... It don't matter. You can be here one of the greatest to ever do it. It's something that you're good at. You can be one of the greatest to ever do it. I, who knows what the fuck that is? I don't know what you're good at. You know what I mean? It might be the porn business. I don't know. I ain't no telling what you're good at. But I ain't telling you go do that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna tell you. You know, I ain't finna tell y'all, you know, step outside, you know what I'm saying, and do nothing bad and nothing like that. I'm not finna encourage y'all to do that today. You know, I'll probably do that shit next week or something, you know. But, you know, right about now, you know, we're going to be on the positive note today. It's a good day today. We're going to be on a positive note today. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, everybody got their own dreams and everybody got their own goals, man. People people know what they want to do with their life. Some people don't want to tell nobody. Some people want to keep it to themselves. Some people want to just grind it out for the money. I'm telling you just like this. If you're trying to do it for the money, that ain't, that ain't no passion or no purpose if you're trying to do it for the money. But if you're trying to do it because you love it, that's what I'm talking about right there. Because some people, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I'm a firm believer in finding a career and doing what you love. Because at the end of the day, you can have a bad day. You can always go back to doing what you love, baby. You know, just keep doing what you love, keep making your money. But a lot of people, they want to look for the money and shit like that. If you're doing what you love, you really don't give a shit about the money. You know what I mean? Because the money going to come anyway. But once you're doing what you love, you're going to take pride and joy in it. And you're going to take care of what you're doing. And then your job is going to be absolute. You know what I'm saying? Absolute. It's going to be straight. You know? So, and some people that don't love what they're doing, their job be half-assing and shit like that. That's why you got to really find out what you really want to do with your life instead of just picking some shit just to get some money. Everybody want to just try to get paid, but man, just find out doing what you love. Cause if you try, if you try to find some shit, it ain't what you love, and that money ain't coming. You gonna, you gonna say, man, fuck that shit. You gonna, you gonna talk to the side. You, you ain't gonna even wanna fuck with it no more. You ain't gonna wanna do that because I mean, cause it ain't what you love. So you gonna like, man, I don't feel like doing this shit today. You gonna be like dread, but don't get me wrong. Everybody don't wake up fired up trying to, you know, get shit done every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, woo, I'm ready to do what I love. You ain't gonna feel like that every day, but still though, you know, if it ain't what you love, you you ain't gonna really fuck with it that much. And really, you know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna really be no career because you gonna always try to find something else. So you might as well just go ahead and sit with what you love. You know what I'm saying? Just do that shit. You know, I'm a firm believer. Just do what you love. But if you can't do what you love right now, you just gotta do what you gotta do till you can do what you love. But just do what you hate until you do what you love. So. By the time you do what you love, you appreciate what you love by doing what you hate so much so we can do what you love. You know what I'm saying? How you love that? But yeah, everything's all good and everything is all well, YouTube. I hope everything's all good with y'all. And you know, on a positive note, what I'm going to say is like, you know, everybody is capable of winning. Everybody can do the same thing. There's a lot of people be jealous about other people, like, you know, what they doing and stuff like that. You know, I'd have been that way. I'd have been jealous of people and shit like that. Everybody had. If you if you ain't never, you know, had a little feeling of jealousy or something throughout your life, you a fucking lie. Because you're human. 
everybody done felt that. But what I'm here to tell y'all, man, everybody can do the same shit. You can do whatever you want to do. And a lot of people say that cliche shit. You can be whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you want to do. You can. But the difference between doing what you want to do and doing what you have to do is some real shit. And what I mean doing what you have to do, you know, a lot of people, you know, can't do what they want to do because they ain't, it ain't lined up with doing right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't lined up with what God want to do with you. And that's why a lot of people are like, damn, why am I why I'm not making it? Because what's the motive of you doing this shit? Is you doing it to fuck people over? Is you doing it just to climb to the top and say, look at me now? Or just, you know, I told y'all I was gonna make it and shit like that. Is you doing it for that? You ain't gonna get you ain't gonna get no fucking way. That's not no motivation. You know what I'm saying? That's not no motivation of, you know what I'm saying, to rise and get to where you wanna be. You know, because you ain't even doing what you love and you and you out for revenge. You got revenge from spirit, you fuck. You ain't going to make it. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Every dog has his day. You know what I'm saying? You probably see some people doing some evil shit just to, just to get it or doing some foul shit just to make it to where they want to make it. But every dog has his day. You know what I mean? Every dog has this, has that day. And what you sow is what you're going to reap. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say you got to be good to people, man. That's why I like being good to people. I don't give a fuck if there's people on the street corner or someone. I mean, I just like being good to people. I like good people. You know, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of dickheads in this world that need their ass, but still, though, I like being good to people, I like being kind, I like kind people, you know what I mean? I don't like people that, you know, you see somebody and then you want to laugh at them and joke at them and shit like that, you know, not just, you know, having fun, but just being a fucking asshole or a jerk or some shit like that. When my lady called me the other day, jerk. Yeah, not being a jerk. <laughs> but yeah, we was just having fun, though. But still, though, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is, you know... You just got to be cool, you know what I'm saying, be good to people. I just like being good to people, you know, being kind to people. Because, you know, the older I get, you know what I'm saying, just like respect uh, gets you a long way. Showing people respect will take your ass a long way, you two. It'll take you a long ass way. You never know, you know what I'm saying. The person that you hating on might be the ass you got to kiss tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, I mean, can't worry about, you know what I'm saying, what other people got going on. You can't dislike people, you know what I'm saying. That might be, you know... The person that can help you out. Don't get me wrong. That don't mean that you, you know looking for help or some shit like that. That don't mean when you waiting on somebody to get some money or you waiting on somebody to be successful so you can leech off of them. No. What I'm just saying is just being a good genuine person. The Lord will look after you. You know what I mean? Celebrate other people's success. You know, God will look after you. You know what I mean? He will. You know, God will look after me a lot. You know what I mean? That's why, you know, I have learned people that done fuck me over. I just learned to let the shit go. You know what I mean? Sometimes, I used to think like that too. I used to like, man, people that didn't like that, fuck that, man. When I do this, when I do this, man, wait till I, man, wait till I get to where I need to be. And I was, it don't work that way, Cadillac. Don't work that way, Cadillac. Mm -mm. Just game, you know, I'm going to tell you, life will humble your ass real quick, you two. It will humble your ass. It will break your ass down. I'm telling you, I don't give a damn how bad you is. You see a lot of people up here on social media and on these websites and shit like that want to act tough, bullshit. Half of them probably a pussy, and half of them probably crying behind closed doors. I'm going to tell you just like this, man. Like a lot of men talking about real men don't cry, real men don't do all that. Shut the fuck up. They might be the weakest men in the room, straight up. But, like I'm telling you, you know, everybody, you know, just be kind to people. Be good to people. You know what I mean? You ain't got to laugh because somebody doing less than you. You ain't got to make a comment. It's a lot of people won't hang with another person just because of their status, just because of they look like... They ain't even successful. That's, they don't blend in with the crowd and shit like that. Some people really got the mentality. I'm talking about old fools and young idiots. You know what I mean? It don't matter who you is. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you just like this. Back in the days, there wasn't no such thing as Jordans and all this shit. You know what I mean? If y'all was raised, if y'all was, wasn't born in this time, you wouldn't even know what the fuck. The, you wouldn't even know what the fucking mean. You wouldn't even know what it mean to have all this lavish jewelry and stuff like that. If you wasn't born with it. If, if it wasn't during this time, when people was cavemen and all that shit, this is like people like, you know, back in the days and shit like that. They said back in the day, people lived longer. Hey, go read the book or look the shit up. You know what I'm saying? Don't ask me no question talking about, you know, what year was it in B.C. and all that shit. You know, but back, back in the day, people lived longer, you know, because they, you know, they was using their body for what it was used for, hunting and shit like that, running, moving around, full range of motion. Now you got people on YouTube, uh, well, you know. They ain't even watch my channel. They on YouTube and shit. They ain't watch my shit. Still though. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got people on social media just sitting down relaxing on cell phones. It's just, it's just technology that took over. People don't go out and do, you know, full range of motion, run and jump and do all that bullshit no more. And like the older people get, the more slower they get, the more tighter they get and all this stuff. Nobody got to work out and move around and shit like that, man. You know what I mean? Because, you know, take care of your body. Your body take care of you. You know?
and be kind to people and stuff like that. Just I don't care if you Mr. Fitness or Miss Fitness or you know you you got the ass of the decade or you know it's Titty Tuesday and you're crushing. I don't care what you look like. If you ain't no good person, if you ain't no good person, deep down inside, if you ain't genuine, it don't work that way, Cadillac. It ain't gonna fly. It ain't gonna fly. Because if you ain't good, if you ain't a good person, good to people, how can you be good? How can you be shitty to people? But ex expect life to be good to you. It can't be done. You know what I mean? You can't do that shit. And you can't, how you gonna be able to, you know, like some people, you know, you got, you know, the kingpins or drug dealers or head hunch or whatever the fuck they claim to be. You know, they up here, you know, they probably leading people out of fear and shit, not love, you know. Leading people out of, you know, if you don't do this, you get fucked up or something like that, or weird kid or stuff, like mob figures or what. It don't matter, you know what I mean? But like I, like I, this is what I'm saying, shit. You know what I'm saying? But you can't lead out of fear. You got to lead out of love. And God, he lead out of love. God do. God lead out of love, you know what I mean? The devil, he try to lead you out of fear, try to persuade you to do all kind of dumb shit, you know? And that's why people got that jealousy and all that stuff. Like, you know, don't get, don't get it twisted, you know? Like I say, do what you love and shit like that and be kind to people and stuff like that. I learned to be humble too because, you know, sometimes, you know, like when people be shitty towards you, that don't mean you be shitty towards them. You know what I mean? They might be having a bad day or going through something. Somebody probably shit in their Siri or something. You don't know what the fuck that happened. You know what I mean? So anything can happen and they probably just trying to cope with something and then they got to deal with this shit and then, you know, they probably just, you know, lash out on you or something. You know what I'm saying? You can't hold shit against people just because they're going through something. You know what I'm saying? Some people just, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got you can let shit slide. You know what I mean? You Just because somebody have an attitude with you or somebody say some slick shit to you, that don't mean you got to snap and pop off it. You know what I mean? You ain't got to whoop their ass or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Sometimes they be going through some shit and they don't feel like being bothered. Or sometimes they be just trying to, you know, live in a moment out of frustration at that time because, you know, they probably could have lost somebody. They probably could have... Missed a promotion or something like that. Or some people, you know what I'm saying, when they get crushed, they have a hard time getting over shit. They do. Everybody ain't the same. You know what I mean? Like some people, they'll shut down when their feelings get hurt. Or some people, they'll shut down when they're trying to run the business or something. If it get broke into or some shit like that, they might not even want to do it no more. Some people have a wreck in their vehicle or something. They might not even want to drive it no more or some shit like that. Anything can happen. And then you got the other half of people, you know what I'm saying? That girl leaving, fuck it, get the fuck over and get a nut. Or oh, shit, they ain't get a job promotion, fuck it. Maybe that kid's better ass than me or some shit like that. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, you know, people look at situations real different. And why you just can't hold shit against people because you don't know what they mentality like. They probably been going through a whole bunch of shit. They probably on their last leg at the end of their rope. You know what I mean? And you probably having a good life living your shit up. And then you probably like, what the fuck wrong with them? But you don't know them. You don't know what they're going through. It's just like you can be at the end of your rope and somebody else can be happy. You know what I mean? Like, why the fuck they so happy? You probably just don't know. They probably just struggled for so fucking long that, God damn, I'm finally here. You know, I finally made it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, a breakthrough that came or something like that. You know what I mean? So you can't judge a person on how they live their life. You don't know what makes people happy. You don't know what people have been through. You know what I'm saying? Like some people, you know, they look good and they living good. Their life might be real shitty. You know what I'm saying? They might look the part, they might got the money and all that, but their life might be real shit. They might have an abusive wife or a husband or some shit like that. Or they might have somebody, a drug, might be a drug addict or some shit like that. You never know what the fuck can be going on in people's house, you know what I mean? So stop looking at the neighbors and stop looking, trying to keep up with the Joneses. The Joneses might be fucked up, you know what I mean? That's why you got to be kind to people, be nice to people, let shit go. Learn to just love and let shit go, man. I mean, because if you live like a positive atmosphere, don't get me wrong, you can get in your feelings. People gonna get on your nerves and your last leg. People gonna irk the shit out of you. They gonna irritate you. You gonna be frustrated. But you just gotta learn to let shit go sometimes. You know what I mean? Some people love. To, some people like to look for fights and pick for fights and you know what I'm saying arguments and shit like that. Or they want to debate with you and all that. But that don't mean you gotta dig into it. Just ignore that shit and just walk off. You too fly for that shit. You too fly for that shit. If you got something going on in your life, you pay attention to that. You know what I mean? Work on your weak points. Don't even work on your strong points. Your strong points, they already exist and they already strengthen up. Just work on your weak points in life. A lot of people, they like to, you know, get down on their strong points but just leave the weak shit alone. No. Work on the weak parts so you can be going here excellent, be excellent all the way. You know what I mean? That's just like lifting weights and shit. Some people like to work on their chest and their arms just to look good but legs looking like a damn, you know, cop looking like coffee table legs. You know what I mean? But they big up. You know what I'm saying? It's just that, you know, some people, you know, 
you gotta work on all areas of your life. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta be kind, you gotta be gentle, and all this shit. You know, you ain't gotta be out tough and hard and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of you know, a lot of guys think that that tough and hard shit don't get, and that don't stop you from getting your ass kicked. I don't give a damn how tough you is. That don't stop you from getting fucked off. You can get it too. I don't give a damn. He man, he ain't got knocked on his ass before too. So hey, I'm just saying. You know, it pays to be fair to people. It pays to be good. This is like time I support black business. I'm going to tell you just like this. Ain't nobody finna tell me where the fuck I'm going to spend my money. At the end of the day, I'm going to support the people that do me right. I ain't finna just support somebody just because of color. If you do me right, I'm going to do you right. That's how I look at it. Ain't no racism over here. If you do me right, I'm doing you right. If you fuck me over, then it's going to be some shit. You see, then, then it's some bullshit. That's what I'm saying. You know, you can't support everybody. Ain't no wrong with looking out for people. You can do the best you can. Don't get me wrong. If you get fucked up, that don't mean that you got to go back and say, look, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go shoot that bitch up. And all that. You ain't got to do all that. But I'm just saying, though, you know what I'm saying? Just don't fuck with them no more. You know what I mean? Just, you know, back off. You know, Like I said, it's going to be some shit. But, you know what I'm saying? Some people, you know, take shit different, you know? You know, ain't nobody finna just... I ain't finna order no wing basket or no fish basket. For $12, and ain't nothing but a hush pub and a brim in that motherfucker. Hell no. Nah. I don't, don't work that way, Cadillac. It don't work that way. You know, I understand people got to make their money. And, it's a lot, and I know the company. And, uh, I said, a company. What the fuck I said? Economy is going up and all this shit. I know, you know what I'm saying? And everything is getting more expensive. All kind of shit, man. But hell. People got to make that money. But you can't be reasonable with the price. Because, you know, hey, even though the economy going up, people, hey, McDonald's, they paying like $13, $14 out. Back in the day, people used to laugh at people, you know what I'm saying, that worked at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Tell me you work at McDonald's. Shit. McDonald's getting paid or nothing. I'm telling you. It's a lot of money in this world. There's a lot of people, they don't want to do the work and they just want to have the easy way out. You know what I mean? Ain't no wrong with doing the work, but you still got time to find to do what you love. And then, just that's, that's the key to life right there. And that's just straight up. The key to life, just do what you, just be right. Do right by people. Be good to people and do right by people. That's how I see it. You know what I mean? Just be a good person, you know? You gotta spend time with the Lord. You gotta get, you gotta get God this time. And I mean every day. Much as you can. You know what I mean? Really, you gotta spend so much time with God that you gotta find other things to do. You know, because I mean, at the end of the day, the good Lord, He take care of all of us. Some people don't believe in Him, but He's he still taking care of y'all too. I don't give a damn what you say. If you don't believe in Him, that's your issue, but He's still taking care of you. Because I bet if you get into some, some deep water, you're gonna say, oh Lord. Oh. Like I was saying, moving on. But, you know, just be good to people. You know what I mean? That's what I say. I just say do right by people. You know what I mean? You ain't got to be, you know, you ain't got to shit on people. Just talk down and, you know what I mean? And, you know, and then do what you love. You know? Do what you love. Be good to people. Keep the Lord, for, keep the Lord first. You'll be, I mean, you'll be unstoppable. You'll be real good. I mean, I'm going to tell you just like this. People, people can laugh at you all day just because you're praying and talking to the Lord. People will laugh at you all day. People might come in about it. People might say, oh, they a holy roller or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you just like this. They can't take they they can't take care of they they can't take better care than you than the Lord can. If they can take better care than you, I wait. See people they laugh at Christians or uh, talk about people that go to church and pray and you know you laugh at people that, that's focused on the word of God. That's who you laugh at when you're going through something, that's who you want to talk to, that's who you want to run to. You know what I mean? Who can I run to? You know what I'm saying? You know, one thing you do not mess with is a child of God. That's one thing you don't mess with. I don't care who you is. I don't care how big and bad you is. You don't play with a child of God. You don't. That's why you don't do people over. It might be a child of God. And I'm going to tell you just like this. Every human is his creation. Fair enough. But, you know what I'm saying? I had to go ahead and chop it up with y'all in the kitchen. You know, I had to go ahead. You know, I ain't did it in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. What's up? Back in your ass. 2122. You know what I mean? Man, this year almost over with. Halfway gone. You know? Corona's still kicking ass, but it's almost gone. It's almost over. I ain't heard from my superhero in a minute neither. I ain't heard from remember y'all were telling y'all about our superhero? I ain't heard from his ass. Damn. Hope the Rona ain't got him. Shit, we need somebody to fight crime. That'd be fucked up, man. A superhero got the corona. Hope not. Wherever you at, wherever you at, we're waiting on you, brother. You know what I mean? You guys are trying to fight crime, shit. We need to find a cure for all these diseases. Everything is upgrading. You know what I mean? I can't, 
I'm finna stop and finish shit up because I got somewhere to go and I got nowhere to be. And what I, well, I really ain't got nowhere to be, but man, I'm finna go, I'm finna go to this Chipotle grill right quick, man. This burrito will be off the chain, man. Get the, get, get the little Chipotle grill with the steak. I always get the pinto beans. Sometimes I get the black beans, but I get the pinto beans, you know what I'm saying? I get the pinto beans with the rice. Sometimes, you know, I get the brown rice, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you know, you get the little cheese and all that. I don't, like, one thing about, you know, Mexican food, they always said a mild shit is not hot. That shit hot as hell. The mild, it, it's not hot. Everybody ain't got your tongue. What the fuck they been licking bricks for a living? I'm finna get up out of here. I'm finna go to this Chipotle grill. Y'all be up. Y'all be safe, all right? Love, peace, and happy. I'm out this bitch.